The Catholic Church speaks. Start with a very brief prayer, and we'll ask Bishop Kihara to lead us in just a brief prayer. Bishop Kihara. Okay. Almighty God and Father, we thank you for this opportunity that you give us to consider the situation of our country and we are placing it in your hands. As we always know, you are a careful and a loving Father. Uh, we have challenges and uh, we know that there is nothing beyond you for you are powerful, you are the Almighty. So we entrust this situation we have, socioeconomic, even uh, the challenges that we are facing right now, that you give us a solution and especially the light and guidance of the Holy Spirit to be able to play our role and help also our country to come out and praise you and serve you with greater joy. Give our leaders the light they need, a listening ear, and the support of your blessing so that they may play uh, the role that you give them responsibly before your people. We pray also for the citizens to cooperate and collaborate in complementing their leaders by dialoguing and listening to one another and your light to guide the way forward. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We now invite uh, the chairman of the Kenyan Conference of Catholic Bishops, Archbishop Martin Kivuva Musonde, who is the Archbishop of Mombasa, to uh, lead us in the statement of the Catholic Bishops. Welcome, Archbishop. Thank you. Um, dear Kenyans, we are here as your shepherds, the Catholic bishops. And as you will learn from the end, all the bishops were present or are pre uh, presented or represented by others. And we want to take this chance in this particular very, very important moment of our history, a very important moment of our church, of our Kenyans, of our nation, to speak to you all, Catholics, non-Catholics, and our, we've been here now for almost three days, reflecting and being part of what's going on. So we saying this, our statement starts off by saying, do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with a blessing because to this you are called so that you may inherit a blessing. This is a quote from uh, Peter 1, verse 3 to 9. So dear Kenyans, <clears throat> we wish to start by reminding all Kenyans that God has blessed our country immensely in its people and resources. Moreover, we had an admirable stability as a nation, which is envy of many. We, the Catholic bishops meeting in the Messi, in Karen, insisted on the need to safeguard and strengthen our bonds as a nation, uphold justice amongst the people, and always act before God in conscience. It is in this regard that we make this statement. Number one, we want to appeal for non-violence at all costs and return to dialogue. We are aware this day on the 19th of July 2023, many a people have been called to the streets but we want to say we appeal to non-violence at all costs and let's return to dialogue. We make this statement in the backdrop of announced week, weekly three-day demonstrations. We have made our efforts to appeal to both the president and the leader of opposition to this peaceful way to end the seeming standoff, specifically we have appealed to Azimio La Umoja to seek alternatives 
uh, strategy that would not hold the entire country hostage and lend itself to violence and destruction. The recent demonstration that we have taken place across the country recently have resulted in significant negative consequences, including injuries, property damage, trauma and the loss of lives. We now see the treat, we see the threat of escalation in the de declared three-day demonstration per week. There is no justifiable reason whatsoever to be violent. We know that engaging in peaceful protests and demonstrations allows individuals to express their grievances and concerns without causing harm to themselves and others. So we call truly, we can truly call hope, againstest hope, that demos demonstrations will be peaceful after, can be peaceful after the experience in our previous demonstrations. We are calling the leaders and the country to embrace non-violent ways of demanding our needs. Kenyans and our leaders must be willing to listen to each other for the sake of peace of our country. We condemn what we have seen simmering as ethnic-based violence spotted in some parts of our country. We now make this passionate appeal to the, will, to the President William Ruto and Right Honorable Raila Odinga to give dialogue a chance. We demand the failed bipartisan talks should be resumed in a different context that brings on board the religious leaders and some eminent persons and bodies. We believe that there is no problem, however difficult, that cannot be resolved through dialogue. We must at all costs avoid the loss of lives. No further blood should be shed. I repeat, no further blood should be shed in Kenya and beyond. The Catholic Church speaks. The socio-economic distress and repeal of the Finance Act. Dear Kenyans, we do realize that part of the disappointment and the disillusionment of Kenyans that is leading to the grave agitation and anger is a severe economic distress. The high cost of living has created a burden on individuals and families, making it difficult for them to meet their basic needs and maintain a decent standard of living. We realize that many are struggling to afford essential goods and services to secure stable employment or are facing financial hardships that affect education and healthcare access. Within this background, the recently enacted Finance Act places an un unsustainable burden on already distressed citizens, especially those within the low income bracket. We, therefore, ask the President to repeal the Finance Act and institute a process that will seek to achieve the same goals within the context of the current economic context. Three, police brutality. We, the Catholic bishops, strongly condemn the police brutality inflicted upon innocent Kenyans during the demonstrations. We understand there are criminals who disguise themselves among protesters to vandalize property, steal from people, injure and even kill people in their in evil schemes. These are the ones the police should go for
to ensure peaceful demonstrations are conducted according to the law. We want to emphasize and express a firm stance against such acts of violence and abuse of power. Police have an obligation to deal with criminals disguised as demonstrators. Police cannot take advantage to brutalize innocent Kenyans. Such acts are unacceptable, must not be tolerated under any circumstance. Police brutality undermines the fund fundamental principles of human rights, justice, and the rule of law. At the same time, we send our message of solidarity to those who are hurt or brutalized by the police. We acknowledge the pain, trauma, and injustice suffered by our brothers and sisters who have experienced violence at the hands of those entrusted with protecting the public. We remind the police of the professional conduct in dealing with demonstration. Here too, we condole with those who lost their loved ones in these days of mayhem and demonstrations. The Catholic Church speaks. Four, government must listen to the plight of Kenyans. Many Kenyans feel unheard and overlooked by their government. We hear every day different discordant and often conflicting messages from our government leaders. We are particularly appalled by unbecoming, insulting, and inciting statements made by leaders. This is causing confusion among the population regarding the direction the country is taking. Many things remain unclear on the government policy and direction. For example, education, health, plight of the poor, strategies to improve employment, among others. The lack of transparency and accountability of social funds during COVID-19 and drought has aggravated feelings of isolation and neglect. To restore trust and address the concerns of the people, it is imperative for the government to actively listen to the plight of Kenyans, provide clear and honest explanations for unfulfilled promises and prioritize policies that alleviate social economic burdens. We call for adherence to the rule of law, both for the citizen and the leadership. This includes respect for court orders and rulings. The Catholic Church speaks. Dear Kenyans, we can find local solutions. Despite the challenges and uncertainties faced by the country, it is essential to remember that Kenya possesses the potential to develop local solutions to address its problems. It is crucial not to lose hope and succumb to despair by working together and engaging in a constructive dialogue Kenyans can collectively brainstorm implement innovative approaches to tackle the socio-economic issues at hand for example when it has rained now Kenyans have gone to farms I went to places there's a lot of maize and so on we propose a consensus building convention under auspices of religious leaders with a multi-sectoral participation to identify the major issues ailing our country and to map out a path we can walk together in order to address them. Local solution tailored to unique needs and context of country have a potential to bring about 
sustenance change to improve the lives of people rather than relying solely on external interventions emphasizing local problem solving empowers individuals and communities to take ownership of their challenges and work towards meaningful solutions. In conclusion, we all have an obligation to pursue peace. We have no any other country to go to. We have seen what happens to our neighbors when they have conflicts and wars and whatever. In order to avoid violence and respond to wrongdoing with love and forgiveness, righteousness is a pre presumed. We appeal to all Kenyans, you and I, everyone look, watching us today. We appeal to all people of goodwill to pray for our country, especially dedicate the day of worship this weekend. And as we have said that those who pray on Friday, the Muslim dedicate that. Those who pray on Saturdays, the Sabbatos, dedicate that. Those who pray on Sunday, dedicate that. The families who pray every day, dedicate our country to prayer. The religious communities for our Catholics, you, we have other means we pray through um, uh, uh, Novenas. novenas. We have adoration in our chapels, and now every day, all those who are in towns and their churches, cathedrals, walk in there for an hour of prayer, half an hour of prayer. We ask our Catholic faith to dedicate special prayers on this Sunday, 23rd July, uh, 2023, and especially in our masses and prayers, you know, in our places of worship. Pray for peace for this country. It's ours. We need to be back to normal. Our God is a loving country. We believe in reconciliation and solve, uh, solving conflicts in a peaceful and just manner, reflecting on the teaching and values of our God. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ fall upon you now and always. We call upon a day of prayer, a national prayer day. We will look at it. We will have to find a day. And we call this weekend a weekend of joining, coming back to God and coming back to each other and holding each other's hand and walk the path of peace. We lastly want to say thank you to all who support each other at these particular moments of tough moments, who have worked with the needy, the poor, and so on. This is our message to you all. May God bless Kenya. May God bless the uh, nation. The Catholic Church speaks. Capuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki.